What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Back with another video. I think it's been, I want to say it's been a week. It might have been more than a week. I don't know. Something. Oh, yeah. If you're new here, like, please subscribe. Thanks. Uh, something I really quickly wanted to mention on here. I was supposed to make this video, like, I really want to say, like, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago. I don't know. It was, like, probably, like, four days ago, five days ago, something like that. And I didn't. I didn't have the time. And then I have some older videos that I have to upload tomorrow. But I did want to talk to you guys about two guys on the Washington Wizards that I really, really think are um, really key and really pivotal in them being able to have a shot to win the East this season. And those two guys are Otto Porter and Jan Hindi. I really, really, really see them being the key to the Wizards going to the next. I really do. I mean, th there's so many pieces on the team that I believe are parts of it, but I just see something that I wanted to t address, like, with them. So, Otto Porter talked in Media Day. I know y'all guys, you guys want me to talk about Media Day stuff. I wanted to do a reaction on those. But anyway, um, he spoke about how he has been, like, working really hard over the summer. This is a video I posted that Ben do before the first preseason game, but you see how that happened. Anyway, so he spoke over about the – he spoke about what he'd been doing over the summer. So he said that his goal this season was to be ultra-aggressive like Clay Thompson and take his shots. Everybody knows that Otto Porter is one of the best three-point shooters in the league, but he does not shoot the ball that much. He doesn't get a lot of touches. He doesn't get a lot of opportunities. When he is open, so he doesn't even take the shot. Like, he'd be passing. He'd be trying to help other people. So, he wants to be more aggressive and shoot his shots like Clay Thompson, okay? And also, something else he wanted to do was be more defensive-minded like Kawhi Leonard. He wanted to be way more def defensive-minded like Kawhi Leonard. He also wanted to... You know, like, basically learn how he maintains his energy level throughout the game. He wanted to be able to do that as well, duplicate that, maintaining his uh, make maintaining the same energy level, like how Kawhi maintains the same energy level throughout the game. He's been studying his defensive angles. He's been studying a lot of film on Kawhi. He wants to be a defensive specialist, and he also wants to shoot more often. If you notice in the new preseason, in the preseason game of yesterday, Otto shot a lot more. Than he usually does, and he made a lot more. Well, he made a lot, a lot of his shots. And also another guy, Jan Meany. I really think that he's really part and pivotal to the Wizards' success. As you know, Dwight Howard was one of the best centers in the league at one point in time. He has gotten a lot older. He's going through a back injury right now. If he's not ready for the season when the season starts, Jan Meany is going to be that guy that's going to take over the role. If you know, when he needs a break, he can't play all 48 minutes. Yan Mahimi is going to be the main backup for him. And we're really going to need that. We're going to need his defense. We're going to need his rim protection, paint protection. And also, Yan Mahimi was shooting threes. He started shooting threes last season, y'all. He started shooting threes last season. He was shooting, like, in practice, he shot 100. He took 100 threes and he made like 75 of them so he's shooting 75 he's shooting over 70 percent at the three-point line that's a huge improvement for us for a guy like Yami who a lot of people say he can't shoot can barely make shots closer to the rim he's stiff all that people say about him he's been losing weight he's been he's been losing weight he's been taking care of his body, he's been working really hard in the gym, he's been extra active, he's been blocking shots, he's been doing a lot more, so I feel like those two guys really have, are going to have a big impact this season, like, than, more than a lot of people know, and if you even notice in the preseason game, they had a huge impact, all the pieces on the Wizards team this season are really important for them to be able to, to make it far, but those two, I really feel like those are two kind of people that people doubt, 
and I feel like they're going to come and surprise everyone. this season. So if you agree with me, let me know. If you think y'all mean me some trash, let me know, because I don't. I think that he's very much improving. If you think the auto porter needs to be more aggressive, or you feel like he'll never be more, more aggressive, especially now they have Austin Rivers, especially now they have Dwight Howard, especially now that John and Brad are both healthy. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Like, do you guys think that, or do you guys think the auto is about to just, like, shock the league this season? Let me know in the comments, please. Because I think you will. All right. Peace, guys. It's your girl, Janine.